Time now for the skinny on topping the headlines this Wednesday morning. The second celebrity hanging up their dancing oh, shoes. It had to happen mm -hmm. just two weeks into season 19. Dancing with the Stars talk show host Tavis Smiley was given the boot last night. Smiley had been prepared with profession, had been paired with professional dancer Sharna Burgess. Well, Smiley never at a loss for words said, quote, I do not live a life of regrets. It's been a wonderful experience. No drama, no finger pointing, just great sportsmanship. See, and it's that kind of attitude that you wish you would be able to last a little bit longer into the sure. season. Not crying about how, you know, you didn't stretch out enough before your dance. <laughs> whatever that was. Anyway, Forbes magazines out with a list of artists who are tops in the hip hop music business. And number one, making a big bundle outside, in fact, of the recording industry. That's right. Forbes named Dr. Dre number one in hip hop. Banking $620 million in pre tax earnings, not just over the past year. He's made more than any other musician evaluated by Forbes. Now, a lot of his income comes from the sale of his high end headphone company, Beats, to Apple. That deal was worth three billion dollars. Do you have those? You ha you're no. hip. You have it's those. So uncool. I You've got like, probably you got five different colors and camo and. No, I got the two dollar one from JetBlue, <laughs> and found right. that it doesn't work with the iPhone. Economics. Uh, well, tied at number two on the list is Sean Diddy Combs, who was bumped from the number one spot. He made sixty million dollars in the last year. His earnings come from the music business and some additional profits from beverage, clothing, and television deals. And tied with Combs, Jay Z also making sixty million dollars. He's been on tour with his wife. Beyonce, helping his net worth and his high profile in the music biz. That one kind of surprised me. I thought that I thought Jay Z might have been a little bit higher. Up I did there. too. Yeah. I, to, I admit. I uh, next year, though, after this. After this tour, I think he's going to be number one spot. Academy Award winning actor Matt Damon, a native of Boston, but he didn't necessarily sound like he dropped that Boston accent while on stage in New York yesterday. Because he was headlining an event at the Clinton Global Initiative talking about cleaning up polluted water when he did a brief impression of President Bill Clinton <laughs> attempting to mimic his southern drawl. The president has been great. I and mean, when we talked to him, to President Clinton a few years ago, he just said, just keep running those numbers up. Just run them up. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. It's really that impre good. It's, I'm impressed. Who President Obama stage? actually spoke after Damon, saying it's difficult taking the stage after such a big Hollywood superstar. I'd like to see Damon's Obama impression. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Damon and Affleck actually are pretty good at poking fun at, at, at others and themselves as well. So, hey, y'all, after building an empire uh, on f with food on television, rich with butter, sugar, southern charm, all Love the good it. things, yeah, only mm -hmm. to face a damaging scandal, Paula Dean is trying to make a comeback. Well, Dean's career hit a bitter note last year when she admitted using a racial slur in the past. Her shows on the Food Network were sidelined after that scandal and another one involving her hidden diabetes diagnosis and a lucrative with a lucrative drug company. And well, now she's starting over. She's appearing on her own network, which is online. It launches today with recipe programs and a documentary actually about the downfall. Now, some of the programs are free, but to watch that documentary and some of the cooking shows, you'll need to pay $10 a month for subscription. Now, how much is enough time? You know, she said she was remorseful. She yeah. regrets saying, you know, do you think she'll be able to rebuild? I don't know. I mean, listen, prayer? because butter and sugar can certainly make a lot of apologies <laughs> happen. You know, you work your way into someone's appetite and you can find a mea culpa. But we'll have to see. You know how see. to fluff them? Right <laughs> exactly. How much air? I always can never exactly. do that. Right. I don't what know. What do they call that? You can never have enough butter or sugar or Rena. That's what I say. <gasps> oh, that's so kind of you. In mm -hmm. the middle of the night, Dan. Mm -hmm. I know. Do what I have to do. I bribe him after the show. <laughs> Stay Bye, with us.